We need to get this video to a thousand likes. If it doesn't and this thing blows up, it's your fault. Like the video. So last video it didn't start, uh, we had a battery issue. Fortunately, Devin's got a fancy new AGM motorcycle battery because that's what this car uses. <laughs> battery is installed. I want you guys to hear some greatness here. Check this out. We haven't touched it for three months. I'm not gonna mess with the throttle at all. This is actually the best this thing's ever run. So let's hop in it, let's drive it. Let's see if it's ready to actually hit the dyno. So James is here because he lacks any mechanical sympathy. So he's yeah, usually the, he's the <laughs> test pilot. Um, <laughs> he's, he's gonna try to break it maybe, but you know, if it doesn't break, then it gets to go to the dyno. I did do a burnout the last time we had this thing You running. did. You <laughs> routinely hit boosts on cars that aren't tuned and do burnouts and things like that, but it's yes. important. Yeah, but I'm, I'm the shakedown. <laughs> the shakedown. So if this gets uh, properly shaken down today, it gets to go make power on the dyno. Um, and if it blows up, we're going to push it, well, Off somewhere. a cliff, or we're going to put a high booster motor in it. Turbo booster, nothing. We already, yeah, talked, about we already talked about this. Okay, hold on. Let's try that. So what ended up happening here was somehow the tune got reverted to like a way earlier state and a different setup. Um, so it just wasn't running right. We didn't find that out until we got back to the garage. God damn it. Okay, so unfortunately we didn't make it to the street. Uh, big problem that we had is the throttle cable kept falling off. Yeah, that wasn't fan uh, fun. <laughs> Fixing the throttle cable so James can actually drive it. So we're back out on the road truck we're gonna try to get it down the road this time I can hear it I mean everybody can hear it it's the loudest fucking car in the world but we'll see if they get it down the road this time I hear it coming so it looks like they're gonna try here it comes Really good actually. 
Remember boys, the goal isn't to do crazy boosted pulls right now. We want it to survive long enough to get to the dyno. So that's why they're driving slow. Uh, they haven't come back yet, which is a bit concerning, but <laughs> we have the truck to tow them back. If it's broken, turbo boost it. Seems like it's making it back. Tried to be cool, and then, <laughs> and he, then, he, then he missed third. had no uh, secondary injection table, right? Yeah, I mean, I was only probably going to like 3,500 RPM or 4,000. Okay. Nice. How'd it and go if it? I felt it going into boost, I immediately let off like after a few moments. It looked good. It felt and, uh, smooth. It, yeah, it's crazy smooth. It's the, uh, way better it, 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 than previous it, 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 iterations. For second. Dude, I, I literally was shifting right here. And it's just like, <laughs> like it did it like multiple times to me. I'm like, <laughs> you son of a bitch, like I'm not over here. So we're gonna do one more thing uh, for drivability sake. The back's been raised, but the front is stupid low still, so it scrapes over everything, makes it more difficult to drive. So we're gonna um, put as much preload into these shocks that we can, the coilovers that we can, and hopefully that'll raise the front enough to make it not stupid. And we're gonna go for one more cruise, and then we'll talk about our next steps. Well, that doesn't that doesn't tell doesn't us anything. Mean shit. Nope. Oh. Actually. It comes back up, son. All right, so we're gonna go a little higher with it. Um, it's still gonna scrape, and we just don't want it to scrape. As much. It was like an inch off the ground in the front, especially because it was so raked out. That front end was not clearing anything. Yeah, it was rubbing on my speed. We also said we weren't gonna do it, but we're gonna turn on secondary injection and maybe hit boost a little. <laughs> I hate this suspension so much. No, it's fine. That's it's not bottoming out with me on it now, so that's a good sign.
great. So a few things happened that run. The wheel fell off on James, bolts were flying off the car. It keeps uh, pushing the dipstick out under boost. Uh, so the we do have crankcase ventilation, but it's not enough. Is that what it's called in a rotary, crankcase? Yeah, it's still crankcase ventilation. Yeah, we have it, it's but not enough. It's just a catch-all term. And this keeps popping out. Maybe we should just add like a port to the top of the um, oil cap or something yeah. so that it can breathe out the oil cap too. Uh, I want to show the people evidence that it isn't broken. bunch of little things with it but to be fair we've rebuilt it like eight fucking times so we kind of just slapped it together now just fingers crossing hope that it'll work and now that it does now yeah so, now that it works okay we gotta actually like put in time to like properly do up things like the coil it wiring. looks like this iteration has a chance to be the one though yeah i feel sure. like we've definitely learned stuff along the way and this does feel the most hopeful that i've been <laughs> with this car so far the pizza box intake hey, the, the honda throttle yeah, body nobody out boosts the hut is all I'm <laughs> and then we got our actually machine resurfaced uh, center like all the stuff all the stuff in power the seals i forgot about the power power seals. seals we've had the rotating assembly lightened and balanced we've had the, the actual... everything machined flat we, we did it right uh, one of our one of our um, one of our injectors, the primary one actually, is zip tied on because we lost the clip. Yeah, the clip fell off. So um, you know, needs must. It has several mufflers and it's still definitely loud. <laughs> yeah, it has two full sized magna flows on it. You remember when I and wrapped so all the wires all nice and yeah. then had to unwrap them? And, and now they're just now chilling. Wires so we're gonna schedule the tuning session, but in the meantime, we're going to give it a once over and clean it all up. Get we, trailing ignition working. Yeah. That'd be nice. We actually might have Darden come here and see if he wants to do some street tuning before we go to the dyno. Um, we just wanna make sure it has its best chance to make the entire 85 horsepower that's gonna make. It feels like it's making more than 85 at least in first, even right now. Like, yeah. This thing feels moderately quick. I'm not gonna say it's like, you know. Do you think we could still pick it up? Mm. I mean, <laughs> nah. All right, we came back literally like a day later and now it's driving. We're just getting your hopes up with the frequent uploads. We are gonna leave you again in two months. Or yeah, we lied. <laughs> we lie a lot if you haven't. Maybe that's why our channel doesn't blow up. is because we promise things that we don't fulfill all the time. We're also we're garbage human beings. We're just so. overly optimistic. Uh, we are going to wrap this one up because we don't want to try to tune it ourselves because we know how that might go. Um, we're going to want to get Darden either down here or schedule the the, uh, the dyno session itself. So that's the end of this video. Um, at the end of every video, we do a giveaway from BoostedShades.com. Um, all you have to do to win is like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Even if you guys don't win, check out Boosted Shades. That's partially responsible for funding these projects. All right, this video's winner is Zachary Sov. All right, hit us up at Team Boosted at BoostedShades.com or through any of our social media accounts, and I will get back to you and ship you something. Uh, like I said before, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we'll give you a chance to win. If you guys can't think of a comment, we do ask you guys questions. At the end of, I shouldn't say every video, but most videos. This video's question, uh, we mentioned it the last video. We are going to be giving away a slant nose wide body 911. Um, what's your general opinion on that? We did mention it's going to be an E-Rod. That's a 6.2 LS3, I believe. Um, it's going to be small compliant, all those things. If you have any suggestions, just generally what's your opinion about the giveaway car that we're going to be doing in 2021? Yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.